Hey there, Tim from ModelKitReviews.com here again. And uh, tonight I want to show you a, a neat little uh, thing I got off of eBay. But first, a bit of backstory. One of my favorite paints to use is Mr. Hobby's Aqueous Color uh, paints. Now, they are uh, the non-toxic, air quotes so you can see them, non-toxic uh, paint offered by uh, Mr. Hobby. Uh, and they are alcohol-based, much like uh, Tamiya acrylics or the alcohol-based Vallejo stuff you may find. Um, and they're, they, they're just one of the best paints ever made. Just one of the, they're just, they go on so smooth and so nice. And they, they brush paint well too, which is something that you certainly can't say for Tamiya. Um, I've had much better luck brush painting with uh, this, uh, the aqueous color stuff. Um, than any other paint I've ever used. Well, I should say any other alcohol-based paint I've ever used. Um, so that being said, unfortunately, uh, the aqueous hobby color was discontinued in America a couple of years ago, more than a couple of years ago at this point. Um, the reasons that I understand it are that uh, because of the VOC stuff with the uh, you know, non-toxic aspects and, and kind of uh, America and the UK changing the definition of what non-toxic means. And these paints do say non-flammable, non non-toxic, but although they're flammable, <laughs> they're, they're, uh, well, there's, there's enough alcohol in there to make them flammable. Um, so to my understanding, Mr. Hobby was told, you know, hey, all, all the paint manufacturers were told, change your formula if you want to be considered non-toxic. And uh, testers uh, said, sure, no problem. They changed the formula of their acryl. Tamiya said, sure, no problem. They changed the formula of, of their acrylic paints. Again, this is my understanding of the situation. Um, and I think Mr. Hobby uh, basically said, we don't sell enough of this to bother spending the money. We just won't sell it in America anymore. So that's where we are right now. Now, uh, uh, that being said, whenever I find this stuff, I try to buy it. And uh, it's it's out there. You can find it in some hobby shops. Some hobby shops still charge uh, the normal price. So you got a 10 milliliter bottle of uh, hobby color here. Uh, this this will run you anywhere between like two dollars and fifty cents to three dollars, depending on where you buy it from. Um, they're they're out there. Some places charge even more, uh, especially if you want to get the because uh, this is the older bottles from when they still sold it in the United States. If you want to get the newer bottles that they uh, are only available in Japan, uh, you can get them off uh, eBay and whatnot, kind of through little gray market stuff. Maybe it's not gray market, but certainly um, I think the places that are willing to import the stuff uh, from Japan are pretty pretty minimal. Um, so whenever I spot it, I pick it up. And, and I actually, this box right here, I was in, uh, I'm running low on the stuff and there's only so much of it out there. Uh, Sprubrothers.com sells jars of it um, in that two fifty to three dollar range. Um, I, then we have a. I, I'm in Minneapolis, and there's a hobby shop in uh, St. Paul, Minnesota, which you know the Twin Cities. That's the other city, and it's called Scale Model Supplies. And they had in their big clearance section in the back, they had an old uh, Mr. Hobby uh, tray, uh, just full of these things. And I bought all of them, and it was about 40 bucks worth of uh, paints at 99, 99 cents a piece. Yeah, they still got this price stickers, 98 cents a piece. Um, so I bought them all, and it was like 40, 45 bucks worth of paint. And it was it was handy because the majority of the colors that were in there was uh, this uh, steel red and uh, blue FS, so USAF Thunderbirds color. And that was handy because at the time I was doing a Master Grade RX 178-2 Titans, and this color is fantastic on that kit nice and dark it still looks blue especially once you get a matte coat on top of it so i bought that up and this is what i have left of that i've used i used a lot of it i think i went through almost two or three jars of the blue and then a couple other colors but there wasn't a ton of variety um so i'm always on the lookout for this and it's just getting increasingly hard to find and until this showed up on ebay yeah. And what this is, is 187 <laughs> bottles of never opened uh, aqueous hobby color. Um, I just randomly on eBay, I just, I had a, uh, I had a, uh, just a watch on that, that's a safe search for aqueous. And I always get the normal, like, you know, single bottles from Japan for four or five dollars, which is 
crazy. I mean, it, this is nicer to paint with, I personally feel, than Tamiya, but I, that's crazy amounts of money. Um, but yeah, when this showed up, uh, the starting bid, I think was, uh, I think the guy did like a dollar. It wasn't much at all. And man, I watched it and I went after it and um, I ended up getting this whole box, 187 assorted colors for 60, $62. So a darn good deal, uh, if I do say so myself. And I mean, there's everything in here. There's some pretty cool colors. Like here's uh, metallic green. Um, I don't know if that's actually gonna come through on the camera like that kind of like neat looking color. I, I wanna find a reason to use this. I'm really hyped about that. Maybe just a weird Gundam. There's a lot of greens, a lot of shades of green. Like there's light green, there's um, a couple of, uh, there's lime, there's olive drab in here as well. Um, yeah, there's dark green, kind of an OD. So I, I pretty much can do anything I want. There's a couple of neat colors like smoke blue. That's pretty sweet. And if you can see a few of these, like they leaked over the years. This isn't new. When I opened the box, like this is how it was shipped to me. It's like you could hear the UPS guy rattling as he came to the door. Um, so I was hoping and praying that nothing was broken, but everything seems to be intact. Um, but man, this is uh, just goes to show you, keep, keep an eye on eBay for old paint. And part of the reason people don't like buying old paint is that um, it's well known that you know older paints, and these got to be what, seven, ten, ten years old? These, these paints are probably about ten years old. And the carrier dries out, and that's a terrible one to show you on because it's a ridiculously dark blue. Um, let's try and find... Uh, actually, find one without a label, that would be ideal. Right, so here's some gray. I'm sure there's another one in here that has a label. And you can see the carrier's just completely dried out. Um, and that's that's fine. I mean, a lot of people would like that would not be a desirable thing. But I airbrush. It's going to get super thinned down anyway. So I don't care if most of the carrier's dried out as long as the paint is not complete. As long as it's not completely dry in here. Um, pop a little Tamiya X20A in there. They're, they're acrylic thinner. And this will be back in business in no time. Uh, or you can use uh, the Mr. Hobby uh, color or Mr. Color uh, leveling thinner. Works fantastic on this stuff as well. Uh, anyway, I just kind of wanted to share this with you guys. And this actually prompted me to pick up another tool uh, that I want to I show you because it was the coolest thing, right? So let's set this aside. Now, one of the things I've discovered buying all of these older paints is that uh, the Mr. Color paints, like they weld shut, that paint gets in there and you cannot get it. The, the cap just locks and I have to run under like boiling hot water uh, for about five minutes until the cap loosens up or put a little thinner in there and then wait for it to work its way down the threads. Um, and then I saw that, I, I, I've known about this for a while, I never bought it, right? And I finally, I was, I was buying some other stuff, I think from a guy in Hong Kong and like you, you hit a certain point where, and this is off eBay, you hit a certain point where the shipping is the same price if you buy more or not. And I was like, well, he had this thing. I was like, okay, I'll buy it. So, you know, suspense and all that fun stuff. So it's this, um, the Mr. Hobby uh, GSI Creos G Tools uh, Mr. Bottle Cap Opener. Um, it doesn't look like anything special. It's just like a little bone and it comes with this little uh, squishy rubber guy here. So what this is, is it's meant for uh, any of their paint line. It also works with the smaller uh, Tamiya bottles, and I'm pretty sure I have one of those around. I could probably uh, squeeze one up from my 200 some odd bottles hanging above my head here. There's that. I have a larger one. Oh look, here's a, here's a jar of, of Mr. Color. So here's our assorted paints, right? So here's our uh, uh, Aqueous, uh, here's uh, Mr. Color, and the to me, a large bottle. So this is the 23 milliliter uh, to me a bottles. Now, um, doesn't work on that, sadly, but what are you gonna do? This is a whole different brand. No, GSI actually made this specifically for their stuff. So, um, you know, you got your Mr. Color, and if some of you have seen this before, you know you, you know what to expect. So you got your Mr. Color, slide that on. These, jar, these sometimes these tops like actually really get stuck. This is a brand new bottle, so it's gonna open up, and you just kind of throw it on there and crank it off. And I couldn't believe how easy this was because um, I actually had one of these bottles that was completely stuck. Let's see if this one is. Oh, the label popped right off that one. Okay. Oh, that one's not stuck. Again, these are all new. They, they hadn't been opened, so the paint's not going to be too run up on the edges. But I've even had like t bottles of Tamiya, like this blue. <laughs> well, it was stuck and now it's not. Apparently, I'm incredibly powerful. But yeah, the Tamiya one, uh, you use the number one side for the smaller Tamiyas and just cranks right off. Um, same thing for this guy. Oh, I'm sorry, you use the number two side 
for the uh, aqueous, oh, and then you use the, um, that didn't break, it was just the little the rivet things. Uh, and then you, for Mr. Color, you have the number one side, uh, and it just slides around there and opens right up. Pretty fantastic. And this guy, if something's really stuck, you just pop the jar in there, gives you a good grip on it, and crank it off. This is like $8, I think, maybe a little less. Worth every penny, and if you, and if you have the older style tab top, Mr. Colors, pop that in there. The uh, metallics still have that, so it would be handy for those. And this is the packaging, you gotta love it. I mean, what sold me on it was you've got this crazy, like Pikachu looking thing on the back, uh, just cranking paint open. I mean, how happy is he? He's like, yeah, I, I got this. It's like a duck thing with a mullet. You can't go wrong with that. But yeah, worth it. So there's uh, my fantastic eBay find of 187 assorted colors of uh, Mr. Color or Mr. Hobby aqueous paints, and then also the uh, Mr. Bottle Cap Opener tool. All right, everybody. Uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, we'll talk to you later.